On to the world of politics, the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy leaders have issued a statement accusing IEBC of colluding with the Jubilee administration to frustrate the Okoa Kenya initiative and vote to pursue all means possible to pursue the process. Addressing the journalist in Nairobi called co-principals Kalonzo Musioka in Moses Wetangula claimed that the commission had been compromised calling it a jubilee puppet. They went on to say that what has happened now is what happened in the last general election when statements originated for jubilee leaders about the numbers they have and will get at the polls. Then the IEBC bent over and end all out make the prophecy come true. The statement also goes on to own the possible demonstrations in protest of ruling. There is, however, room within the law to top up the signatures to the required number, though so IBC Commissioner Thomas Lengatule has ruled out it completely. The records that we were, we were talking about where uh, the signatures are actually some funny marks you can see like this when somebody drew the exam the drew a drawing of a cow but it was still admitted as a signature out of the 1.6 million signatures submitted to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission by Code for the Okoa Kenya Initiative, more than 240,000 of the entries were not accompanied with ID or passport numbers. A closer scrutiny of these records showed some anomalies that needed to be taken care of. Invalid entries were entered in the ID or passport number column were also removed. Some entries had characters that were not consistent with the conventional numbering of the national ID numbers or passport numbers. And in some instances, the ID or passport numbers entries that contained wild characters such as uh, the and signs and uh, question marks and any other marks that were not uh, uh, readable were removed resulting into clean ID and passport numbers. Names of more than 124,000 of those who were in support of the initiative were not found in the IEBC voters register, while 193,303 were duplicated. Every stage, we did not lose anybody who was supposed to be genuinely or genuinely in the who, who generally supported the the Okoa Kenya initiative even those who repeated who signed more than once at least one record was included thank you the process of verification entailed confirming if the Okoa Kenya initiative supporters are indeed registered voters by matching the 1,209,502 records against the IBC <coughs> register of voters. The number of valid registered voters supporting the initiative was 891,598 mm -hmm. and therefore falls short of the 1 million uh, uh, require, uh, required by the law. Mm -hmm. This is the, res the, the result of the first stage of verification. That being the case, the Commission did not consider it necessary or prudent to go to the next step of verifying the authenticity of the signatures of the 891,598, either by sampling method or otherwise. On the recent claims that IBC is colluding with the Jubilee Coalition in frustrating their calls for a referendum, the commissioners have said the claims are baseless. Every, every political uh, party has, has attacked the commission for one, way, for one reason or another, whether it is a uh, court, whether it is Jubilee or Kanu. Every party, it seems they, they are taking turns to beat us. When one gets sad, the other one takes over. <laughs> and uh, it's quite unfortunate. But I, I don't think uh, this is a, uh, the first independent commission established by the Constitution of Kenya. It's a very strong institution with a, very, uh, with a lot of powers. The way we behave as commissioners and as staff is going to define the future of this commission. Court has threatened to take the matter to court while opposition member of parliament have vowed to ensure the commissioners are kicked out of office before the next general election.